So you have a, a RTX 3080 Ti, like the one that is mounted in the PC right behind me in vertical position, and it's running a bit too hot, or maybe you wanna just reduce the power consumption while slightly increasing the performance or keeping the performance the same, but with a much quieter card. Well, this is the right video for you. Today, I'm gonna show you how to undervolt your RTX 3080 Ti, and how this also works for the 3080 and for the 39. So the card we're gonna be using today is a RTX 3080 Ti Inno 3D X3. It's a three fan model, it is vertical mounted, and we are running a 750 watt power supply with it, with a Ryzen 7 7700X. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so for this tutorial, you will need two pieces of software. You will find both of them down in the description, and they are Heaven Benchmark, that you have to run without full screen with everything to the max in the background. And then you will need MS Afterburner, which you need to open on top of it, just like that. Now, the first time you open MS Afterburner, you will have to go into settings and enable the voltage monitoring and voltage control right there. Then hit OK. And it will say you have to reboot Afterburner. That's no problem, just reboot Afterburner. And here we are. We have to click here on Curve Editor to open up this other curve, which is actually how our core clock in the card behaves. Now, what you wanna do is go over here, okay? And you wanna go on the core clock and give it minus 250, okay? Hit enter. You wanna go on the graph and grab the 900 millivolt voltage point right there and bring it all the way up to 1900 megahertz right there now hit apply now as you can see our card will immediately start running at 900 millivolt voltage point but and i have done this on purpose as you can see it's not quite reaching the 1900 megahertz now you might be wondering why is that well it's because it is hitting a slight power limit so you have to unlock your power limit if possible now in our car this is not possible but this is not a problem at this point, if you want some extra performance, you need to go down here on memory clock and give it plus 800. And then hit apply. At this point, the tutorial is already over if you wanna just copy those extremely stable settings. But if you wanna stay, I will give you some better settings that will require, however, a little bit of tuning, okay? So after you have the settings, you wanna save them to your profile enable the profile, enable Afterburner to start with Windows, go into settings and enable to start with Windows and reduce at icon. This way you will have your undervolt all the time. But if you actually want better settings, again, stay here. I will show you those will work, but on some cards, like the one we have here today, they are not ideal. So I don't actually recommend you follow this one. This is just if you want extreme stability. Now. Let's reset our curve. What would be the ideal settings for this RTX 3080 Ti? Pretty simple. Now you wanna go over here, give it minus 300, okay? This is better. And now you wanna actually grab the 850 millivolt voltage point, and you wanna bring this one up to 1800 megahertz, or slightly over. Again, in this case, it's 1816. Hit apply. At this point, you wanna give it plus 800, on the memory, hit apply. And now as you can see, it's running stable, flat at 850 millivolt. Now you might be wondering, why is this happening? Well, it's because we are no longer hitting power limit. And we are no longer hitting power limit because we lowered our voltage. And power is the product of voltage times current. The current is constant depending on the load. So we're not hitting power limits. So how can you fine tune this even more for yourself? Well, the lower this number, so the lower the voltage, the better your temperature and power consumption. But the higher this number, so the megahertz, the higher the performance. So if you go too low with the voltage or too high with this, your system will crash. Now we'll show you what can happen if you set something that is unstable. So if your system crashes, it looks something like this. You just hit, for example, let's say I wanna do 850 millivolt and 1900 megahertz. Now this, this is a very aggressive overclock. So if I set it, okay, wait, in my car this working, ah, this never works properly when it has to. So if I put it at 2000, as you can see, now it crashed. So everything is frozen, but if you just wait, it will unfreeze itself. 
worst case scenario, you will have to reboot the PC, but then you will come back to it. So now let me just come back to it and then we can give you the, the last tips and then we can finish the tutorial. Okay, here we are. Now, if you wanna just copy this, again, what I do recommend is 850 millivolt, 1800 megahertz. Now, if you wanna fine tune this for yourself, um, if you want more performance, but with this level of temperature and power consumption, just keep the 850 here and do more megahertz. For example, we might wanna do minus 300, grab the 850, and try for example 1875 right there hit apply it works this will give us better performance than the previous but you have to play a couple of games and test for stability whereas the one i recommend you will work for 99 percent of you so it's better now the, again the higher you go here the better the performance and the lower you go here the better the power consumption and temperature so example in the other way let's say 1850 is fine for you However, you want a bit lower voltage, so you might want to have 825. Then we get up the 825, we bring it up to around 1850, we hit apply, and as you can see, it's working, and this will give us lower temperature and lower power consumption, but with slightly lower performance. And then after all, you can just give it plus 800 megahertz on the memory to get some extra performance this way. So this is it. Well guys, if it was helpful, please drop a like and a sub. I have many more videos on the channel regarding undervolting. I have some for CPUs, some for GPUs, and I have basically everything from uh, the 4000 RTX series all the way to AMD RX cards and to Ryzen CPUs. So please go take a look. And again, drop a comment if it was useful or if you have any trouble, I read them all. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.